Hello everybody, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I've got uh, project number five I'm fixing to share with y'all, done my project share. And um, I've got a few things done, have made a few more things. Was able to go to a few um, thrift, thrift shops yesterday. My wonderful husband took me shopping yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't find much. We went to three different thrift shops here in Massachusetts, uh, lower Massachusetts, but didn't find uh, too much, but did get a few things. So I wanted to share with y'all. Here is these beautiful earrings. These are actually earrings. But of course, I'm gonna cut the stud off. And I just love these because they're the kind of applique looking um, bows here that have the sequence on them and the pearls and stuff. So those will be really pretty in a fabric book. I did get two, um, these here these are gorgeous um, this is the I think this is tatting this is what me and my mom uh, were talking about it looks like tatting on here um, I don't know if it's super old but um, it's really pretty and I can cut these up and use them uh, on flowers and just embellishments and stuff so I really 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 like the way this is and then I was super excited to find these plastic um, placemats these are gorgeous. Um, they've got the holes in them. And I've seen uh, on the YouTube where some people take these and use them in their di coffee dyeing or tea dyeing. So I've got four of these. Um, I'm probably going to, um, when I have reached my thousand subbies, I'm going to do some giveaways. So um, I'm probably going to give maybe a couple of these away and some of those. So um I need to be checking back on my videos because I'm getting close. I've still got a way to go, but hopefully in the next month I'll I'll reach it. These are some really, really pretty um, flowers that I made up. Let's see, let me show you this one first. Um, this one here, I, my inspiration, I got it from Edwina. And uh, she did um, kind of showing a little bit how to use a yo-yo and make some flowers. So I, I, she had a little template that she used, but she said she got it off of Amazon, but I just made mine up and layered it and used the material there and made my yo-yo out of it. I hope y'all can see that. Um, I'm having to use my laptop to do my filming and I'm not just real super excited about it because it always looks blurry to me. I hope it's not to y'all. This one turned out really pretty. I love the way it turned out and it really it's got the creams and the beige tones, and I used two different yo-yos on it, and it's very layered. And um, this is just something to show you, you know, that on, on the road, you can still do a few crafts. Okay, my next project that I wanted to show y'all is I promised y'all I was going to make a little journal to go in this tin, and uh, I did get it done, and so I thought it turned out really, really great. And hopefully I can get it out of here. I had such a hard time getting this out there the other day. But anyway, I did use, um, this came off that uh, Mother's a Poem book. And I just love that picture there. It was just a little circle on there. So I was able to use that on the front and just put some um, pretty lace stuff that I did behind it. Some little flowers that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. So see how, how pretty that turned out. And I just kind of used this as my guideline cut it out with. Put a little thing right here underneath the picture to open it. So it's closure. And just had some extra papers. So I used that and my theme was kind of like this was um, this lady here. She made this little book up and it was just things that meant a lot to her. So that's what I was thinking about back in the day. You know people used a lot of the stuff like maybe this was material that had some pink, uh, pink roses on it. Um, and this is um, handy hands, and so she has handy hands helping her. her. Her children are always helping her. And this right here is a really pretty picture of um, two children reading a book and just some writing places there, you know. And then this little girl here was so cute. I love that picture there. That little girl I cut it out of postcard. And let's see. And then these came off of Something of Tim Holtz that I got, and I just thought that was pretty because that can represent her, her children and her husband. And then some more material and lace. And then on the back here, I put some of that um, 
RSVP. I thought that was really pretty. It's like a little postcard she got from somebody. But anyway, I thought this turned out really pretty. So I was happy and excited about that. And I'll probably, um, I'm going to be making some more of these up and I might put some of these in my giveaway. Okay, let's get to this book. I finally got finished with this little journal here. I got it embellished and I've got all the signatures in here. Um, this is what I put on the back picture of a mom and her little kid, or little baby, really, and use this this color of, um, this has come off of a shirt or something. really like the colors because it kind of blended with that. Uh, on the spine here, I put, and then you call these um, bag purse journals. Got my idea from Clemmy, Clemmy Creations. And um, on, the, on the spine, I put some lace, some of this green, um, I don't know what you call this, but anyway, it's green leaves. Uh, some little pearls that I brought, and just this is just actually little pieces of um, threads that I put together that I saved, you know, that you get off things, and I put that little rose on there and got that on there, so that right there turned out really cute. It has a pocket right here, and y'all, this is going to have a lot of the stuff that I had made on my trip that I used in here and embellished it with. Um, remember this that I had made up really cute the little the little girl that I said that she looked like she was going off to school so this represents um, children and their mother and poems in here really pretty poems they're on both sides that go with it um, there's really pretty embellishment here I had of a dually paper dually there some more poems and on my, my scrapbook paper I just took it and I did coffee diet with some stuff in my in my hotel room. I drank the coffee, so it was in a little bag, so I was able to coffee dye my stuff. This is the little um, book that I, I bought that has the flowers in it. talks about the different flowers, some writing material. This is a picture of a little girl and her mom, and her, I mean, two little girls and their mom. Another poem. Plenty of writing space on here. You can take this out and do some writing. Another really pretty out of that book. I love this picture here. Um, it's just like the picture on the back. And uh, it has a poem on the back, too. And this right here was something that I had made out of those little kind of big index cards that I had found really cheap and has all this little ephemera in here. Lovely little um, embellishment that I did. And this paper right here is really pretty, and I put embellishment on the front. And it has a pocket inside, and that's all tea dyed, uh, coffee dyed. Uh, this right here comes from these little um, coffee filter things. I thought those were so cute, and I said, well, I'm going to see if I can use them. So um, this one here I cut out, and I just like the colors of it. It kind of blended, and I put that little um, butterfly embellishment on there. And this here, y'all remember I made this up, and um, it's just a bow bunny. Uh, come off of something that I bought some stamp, um, not stamps, some stickers. And I'm going to actually on the back side of this, I found this here that I'm going to use to cover it with. So I said I needed something to put on the back because I didn't want to. The back's got that bow bunny on there, so I'm going to glue that on the back of it, and that way you can write on the back of it. So that was my idea on that. And just put some little pieces of material. That's the same stuff that I used to, cut, to uh, wrap it up with. And this is something else I had made. So this is just all things that I used on my trip that I crafted with, with limited supplies. Even though I bought that stuff because, you know, that was part of my fun on the trip. As my husband said, I can, he said, you can go do some, you know, thrift shopping, buying some stuff. And, well, he's doing what he's, he came here to do. So... I really love the way this one turned out. So pretty. That's just a, another little something that came in a that I bought. And so I made the little um, thing you can write in. It's like a little card I made in there. And another beautiful page. And here I just have a poem. Some more of that beautiful book I, I bought of the um, wildflowers. And then I made this up just from little scraps that I had. Um, everybody's doing this right now, taking their scraps and putting them together. And I, I love it. I love um, 
girl on the ridge, Laurie, she's doing one. In fact, I just bought a book from her, so I'm excited. Well, not a book, but a file folder. I can't wait to get home so I can look at it and enjoy it, and I'm going to film it, too. So I got finished with that, and I thought it really, really turned out cute. So there you go. All right. Then this is going to be my next project. I'm working on this. Um, I did one side already. So you can see where I have taken and did some collaging. This is on just a file, um, clasp envelope that's a kind of a bright you know, green color. So I'm going to collage the other side. And I'm going to embellish it with some of these. Uh, these I got from the dollar store, and you got to go check it out because I'm sure they got tons of them. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky and get one of the goodies there. My mom picked up some of those butterflies that everybody's been getting for me because I couldn't find them up here. She went to Hobby Lobby and Tuesday mornings and did a little shopping for me while I was away. So I was glad about that and sweet of her to do that. But anyway, I'm going to take and put some stuff on here. And what I was planning on doing with this is I'm going to make it kind of like a, it's going to hold a very, um, not a big journal, but just a journal that's going to fit inside of this. And then there you go. It's going to be really pretty and I like the bright colors. And it kind of reminds me of summer. So that was the idea. I'm finishing this up. I'm going to put all this on the back. And that would be my next project that I'm going to share. And so I thank everybody that's kind of hung out with me on this on this journey that I've been on. I've had a great time with my husband. We've seen a lot of beautiful country. And so um, I'm probably going to do one more project share. And then I'm headed home the end of next week. And so happy to be going home. I've had a great time, but I'm ready to go home. So anyway, y'all have a wonderful weekend. And thank y'all so much for watching and for the people that are staying tuned and that are subscribed to my channel. Y'all have a blessed day.